All right, Carter was out doing some real hood rat I have perfect timing. You don't have perfect timing because you have no timing yeah. belt. <laughs> you have perfectly no timing. It's stock, it kind of sucks. <laughs> and we're gonna do the K24 swap in this, but he's gotta drive this in the meantime. So let's try to fix this pile of crap. Welcome to VTech Academy, you're about to get schooled. So Scott, so. you've already started on Yes. <laughs> Obviously on, on the teardown of this. Yep. Uh, just started doing all the topical stuff, just taking apart everything I could from the top. Took out the condenser fan to get the manifold off so I could get the rear bracket off because I'm going to try to leave the manifold in the car. If we're going to have the head rebuilt, you have to pull the manifold anyway, so instead of pulling all that jazz off of there, it's kind of easier to just leave it in there sometimes, especially in these cars, there's a lot of room. Um, I drained the fluids, if I hadn't mentioned that, but first thing, as soon as I pulled the valve cover, bam, you could see that timing belt was bad. So we would just change that, except for he has a burnt valve more than likely anyways. So we're gonna disassemble it and see, maybe we have to do a K24 swap. <laughs> well, I know Brian has um, like a B18B Another... or B18A head. Yep, yep, so. that. You know, we could probably just slap that in. Minimum, we could good. slap that on there. As long as there's no, like, piston. I mean, there yeah, shouldn't be any As long as it's not damage. worse. Yeah. Isn't the, the base Integra V18 head the same as a CRV? It, essentially, yeah. I think they're, it's the same cam, same everything, right? They're basically the same, unless you have a newer P8R head somehow, which I don't even... There's really not a whole lot of difference there. So all the non-VTEC heads are the same, more or less. If you have a tuner, I mean, you might be able to tune mm. more power out of one of those anyways, but you know. I, I was just saying we should just oh, K24 swap it, but. Yep. But We're apparently he doesn't want it to be down for a month while we make mounts and oh. figure out all that good stuff. The driveline might be the more challenge as long as if we have to shorten something that yeah. that'll be the harder part. We'll just fix this and let him go break no, it just... again. Hopefully by then we'll have swapped yeah. Brian's. <laughs> well, I'm not like Carter's here. He can finish this up, huh? Yeah. Well, if you look here, here, and here, you can see pieces of it. Oh, it separated nicely. Yeah. Well, it's, that was it's jammed down in there. That so. was 4,500. Oh, that was 4,500 RPM in third gear, doing 70-ish. <laughs> it's weird because like I've had. I've heard him snap before in like friends cars and stuff and there's always like metal clinging and the car just went silent it just, yeah, just I was that's like, what happened with that green one I bought so I'm hoping nothing made contact yeah either way we're replacing the head if this happens because too much VTEC <laughs> CRV I have VTEC do you just there's no I VTEC don't. I don't somebody stole your VTEC oh, oh no I mean I was doing hood rat shit. I was definitely speeding down too many roads and fourth gear doesn't work very well on this so you just stick it in third and let it run out but that's what happened to me mine was that's just missing a straight up missing yep. its nut. Yeah. number one cylinder on my that's car i nuts. kept losing the nut oh really and then it got lost inside the car and i was like oh well i went and found another one and then when we <laughs> blew it up again i changed pulled the head off and it like ding, 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 fell out from somewhere <laughs> so you were just driving around with the loose nut oh yeah your, i was just like, yeah mm -hmm. So what's up? We have a stripped head bolt, but I feel part of it may have been because this 14 is very, very used. You can see that it's a little, it's not really flat in the flat areas. And I don't know if we need a new one. I could grind that down, but there's not a whole lot there to get to new meat, but that bolt is very unhappy now. Anytime we apply pressure, it just pops up. One step closer to a K-swap, a burnt valve. And yeah. it happens to be on the one that's missing the nut. That valve is like gone. But in breaking the timing belt, those valves hit the piston on number four. They actually don't really look bent, but if we have a replacement head, we'll probably just replace it. You can see the it marks on the piston even from the valve hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the belt is now... Uh, Multi pieces.
know that's like, dude, come on. Put it in a nice way. Good job. Art, I did so much work. Art, I helped lift the head on. All right, Scott and Brian wrapped it up and uh, it's time to take it for a test drive. It'll be interesting to try it on four cylinders rather than three. Oh, wow. That's quiet. <sighs> Guess we'll... Safety first. Wow, nice and quiet. And it still has power steering. It's so funny, I naturally, whenever I go drive it, it's part of my routine. I would put it in drive and I'd click overdrive off because you never wanted to go into overdrive because then it didn't have enough power on three cylinders. But uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not gonna floor it because supposedly the head gasket needs to sit. Although it's not automatic, I can't imagine you can hurt it too bad, but uh, dang. Oh, see that's smooth. It's come to a stop. Oh, you could sit light like this all day. You could idle. Things don't want to shake off the dash or anything. That's nice. Oh yeah, and it doesn't bog when you try and take off with the AC on. It doesn't care. That's nice. I am honestly so excited for this, even if it doesn't show on my face right now. <laughs> no, that's great. Oh yeah, sit here with the AC on. This is gonna be great for going out to the desert again. This summer was here, just got here, so. Super important. Yeah, I totally forgot we put an LS on the B20. Uh, there's reason for that, but basically we don't have to worry about valve adjustments as, awesome, as often, and that's the most important thing because uh, we're kind of horrible at routine maintenance. Thanks for watching VK Academy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully, we're so close to 100,000. We need to get there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're there by the time of this video, but if not, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends.